Rosalina the Space Princess, or Queen rather, has quite a large family of Loomers, doesn't she? But there was one Loomer that really stood out from the others, and that was none other than Luma Lee. Luma Lee was unlike any other Luma. She had a very childish singing voice and personality. She was always known for being hyperactive and eating heaps of star bits. This eventually became too much for the Loomers to handle and after one stunt of nearly draining the observatory of some of its power stars, somehow, Rosalina decided to send Luma Lee off for a walk, or fly rather, into the universe to cool off and find herself. Luma Lee then proceeded to leave and with this, she travelled through several galaxies from here, she eventually came across Earth and thought the planet looked epic. Her words, not mine and obviously decided to check out the planet. She travelled all around the world. Her travels eventually brought her to the Darklands where the evil King of the Coopers, Bowser, resides. It didn't take long before Luma Lee was discovered. Bowser's minions, these being two tub riding shy guys led by the General Cooper, grabbed hold of Luma Lee and brought her to Bowser. Bowser was unaware of what, what Luma Lee was or where she came from. Assuming the worst and claiming she was some kind of cursed being, he locked her in his horrifying dungeon high above a lava pit. Lumily was initially freaked out but tried to remain cool. Eventually, more prisoners came and joined her over the years and she eventually lost track of time before she'd been trapped for decades, when it was really only a few months by this point. She became very nihilistic and borderline suicidal and hoped the end was near. Anytime new prisoners came in, she would go on and on about how there is no escape and that they are all doomed. She was especially at her worst when a plumber clad in green arrived as a prisoner. This extended when all the Kongs including Cranky Kong were imprisoned here as well. Kamek that day arrived announcing that all the prisoners would attend the royal wedding between Bowser and Peach where they would all be sacrificed. Everyone was horrified by this except for Luma Lee who was happy that mercy was finally afoot. When all the prisoners were being lowered into the lava during the ceremony, they were all screaming in terror except for Luma Lee who was spinning in her cage in excitement. This however stopped when Peach went rogue and discussed that Bowser and his crew would sacrifice innocence for a forced wedding she didn't want to attend. She turned into her ice form, battled Bowser and the guests, and froze the cog that the chains holding the cages were attached to, thus preventing the prisoners from being sacrificed. As the two heroes, Mario and Donkey Kong, arrived to help Peach in her battle, the ice holding the cog broke off and the cog started lowering the prisoners again. While Mario helped Peach with her fight, DK then grabbed the cog and yanked it back up thus preventing the sacrifice. Everyone was relieved to be safe from this horrible, f horrible fate except for Luma Lee, who was lying down in her cage saying, "Boo." Eventually however, she emerged from the cage and proceeded to give those beyond the fourth wall, a sad yet true reality. Then proceeding to play a fan favourite song. Now that's a happy ending. Or is it? Because everything's over now. And all that's left is you and the infinite void. Kind of makes you want to play saxophone, huh? <laughs> Luma Lee then returned to the observatory after what felt like forever and told the Loomers about what happened. They didn't believe her, obviously. She then started giving the Loomers some items as she was telling them the story, and that was when Rosalina suggested she should open up a shop and sell items to any travellers in need. Luma Lee liked this idea and sought solace across the entire universe hosting shops everywhere. Eventually, Mario, and Luigi as well, would find themselves in space on adventures a couple times. Here, they met Luma Lee again, countless times, who offered to sell them one-up mushrooms and life mushrooms to the plumbers every time they visited, well, for a fee of 30 star bits, of course. She also sold Lucky Cubes as well, and these were doubly useful as they provided extra lives or even star bits. Luma Lee really enjoyed her new life of selling items and helping out those in need on their adventures and she still continues to this day. If you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below whose story you'd like me to cover next. 
And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.